Are you wondering how you can link your WordPress menu items to Elementor containers? So for instance, when your website visitor comes to your website and they click, for example, the about menu item, they are taken to the about container or the about section on your Elementor website, or even a website that you created with Gutenberg, this same principle applies. But also, if, for example, you have a page within the menu, which is not a container on the same page, for instance, this is a page, a contact page. So since this page loads up, it means that you have to make a tweak to these other menu items so that when your website visitor clicks on any of these menu items, which are linked to sections on the home page, they should be taken back to that exact section or container on the page. For instance, if I click on portfolio, it should load up and take me back straight to the portfolio container or section of the website. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that in a few simple steps. Let's start off with people who are creating using Elementor. But the first thing you have to do is to create the navigation or the menu items. Then we have to come here to appearance menus inside your WordPress dashboard and we are going to create a menu. Give it a name you want and I prefer to select the location as a header. Now we are going to add the menu items as they are listed or as you want them to appear on the website. So first we are going to have the home page which is a real page that is created. And that page will have all the other sections of the website that you want to link to from the menu. In this case, we have our homepage having the different containers or sections. So in this case, we have this a container, this a container, and this as a container, but also have a section. I'll show you why I created that later in the video. Once you created your pages, just like you can see under my pages, I have the contact page, the home page, the privacy policy and the sample page. Now inside your menu, you're going to add your home page. So first add my home page. Now we are going to also add our contact page, which is also a page. So this page. And the reason why I'm doing that is that I want to demo for you how you can move from the contact page to any of these sections. So Back here in our menu, we are going to add our other menu items that we want to link to from the header. These are going to be custom menu items or what they call custom links. So here I'm going to add my custom links and these are the menu items about portfolio and stories. Now, these are supposed to be actual sections or containers on your homepage. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to first give what they call a CSS ID to these menu items that I want to link to on my home page. First, I'll start with the hero container, click on it, come to advanced, and you see there is something called CSS ID. This CSS ID should be different from anything on the page, on that same exact page. So here I'm going to say home. I don't have to include any special character, just give it the name. Now, when you compare the container, it is under the layout option, CSS ID. And if you're using the sections under advanced, it is just straight under the advanced option. You see, that is the difference between the container. So container, advanced, then we have CSS ID. Just under the layout options for the section, you come to advanced and then still under advanced, then that's where you are able to add your CSS ID. The same I'll do for the other containers. So because these are containers, portfolio, advanced, then come straight here to CSS ID, add the name of that container as portfolio and the same for stories. And just come over here, add the CSS ID for that container. So I'm going to say stories. Now, once you are done giving the CSS IDs or assigning CSS IDs to these containers or sections that you want to link to on your menu item, then you are going to have to update. 
Once the update is done, now we are going to come back here to our menus and we are going to add those menu items. You're going to start by adding a hash symbol because this is the URL of that menu item. We are going to start with the about and the link text is going to be about. This is what I mean here. Next is going to be portfolio. Then the link text will be portfolio, which is the menu item text. I add that. Next will be stories. Now I have to rearrange these menu items. And now save changes. Now when I open to see in the preview, you are going to see that now we have our menu items linked to our page. For example, when your website visitor comes and clicks over here on the about menu item, they'll be taken to the about section or container. Same for portfolio and same for stories. Now, once they go to the other page that you have that is created on your website, in this case, we have the contact page. Those visitors are not able to go back straight to the portfolio page. You see, even when I click, nothing happens. So they have to first go back to the home page and then click on the about menu item that will take them to the about container or section. Now we can fix that. We are going to get the URL of the page where those sections are located. So all these sections are on the home page. I'll open up my URL or reload it. Then I get this URL, copy it, come to the menus. Then for every menu item that is a custom link, you're going to add the URL of the home page before that item. So here I'll paste my URL and you will see that we have the URL that ends over here where there is a forward slash and then followed by the CSS ID. Repeat that for all the custom menu items. I'll do the same for stories as well. Just like that. Now I'm going to update my menu and now I'm going to come here to the preview or to my home page. I reload. Now, since I'm on the home page and I click on about portfolio stories, everything works just great. Now I'm going to go to the contact page. And now before when we clicked on the stories or portfolio, we could not get back until we use the home page URL. But now when I click on, for example, the portfolio, it should be able to take me straight to the portfolio section on the home page. So when I click, boom, takes me straight to the portfolio section on the home page. And now you see that that URL has changed just like we specified it under the menu items, custom link portfolio. Good. Now, the other question is, how about if you are using Gutenberg, not Elementor? Under my pages, I have a page called sample page. So I'll edit that, open it up with Gutenberg. So this is a sample page. It has the intro text. It has this container. And it has another container below here called community. For this example, we are going to use this container here. And with this container selected, so if you don't know how to select containers, you can come over here to document overview. And right over here, you can see we have the wrapper containers or what they call wrappers. So when you select this wrapper and you come over here to the block settings and under general, you're going to come straight here to advanced. And here you can add your HTML anchor. I gave it news. So this is another wrapper or container called community under general. I can just come over here advanced and give it an HTML anchor called community. Just make sure there are no spaces, but you can use a dash to combine two words, something like that. Anyway, we are going to be using this container, which has an HTML anchor called recent news. What we want to do is to link straight to this container, which is on the sample page straight from our navigation. How do we do that now from the menu items? First of all, we are going to add a custom link. This custom link ideally should have 
the CSS ID or the HTML anchor like they call it in Gutenberg news, make sure that this CSS ID or the HTML anchor is the same as you described it here on the container or in Gutenberg here. Now, back here in our menus, we are going to add the link text just like how you want this to appear. Now, if we add this menu item as it is, it will not work. And let me show you why. So when I save changes, I'm going to load the home page. You see, we have a new menu item called recent news, but when I click there, nothing works. So why is it not working? It's because this container is not on this page. So what you have to do at the moment is to use the URL for the sample page and then add the HTML anchor for that section, recent news. How do we do that now? We're going to come back here to our pages. We are going to open up our sample page URL. So this is our sample page here. This is the content and then the first wrapper or container called recent news and then the other container called community. So we copy the URL of that page, come to our menus and under recent news, the menu item that we added, we will add the URL of the sample page and after it, we add the HTML anchor or the CSS ID of that container. Now we are going to save changes. Now we go back here to our website. So this is the home page, which is linking to portfolio stories. Now, when I click on recent news, it should be able to work straight and take us to the recent news container or section on that page. Now here I'm also able to navigate back straight to the about page section or to the about page anchor section straight on the home page. I hope that makes sense. Same for portfolio, same for stories. Even when I open up the contact page, it takes me there. And even when I open up the recent news, it takes me straight to the sample page, but the recent news section. I hope this makes sense for you now that you can link your custom menu items to pages and sections and be able to make the URLs work just like you want. So don't forget to save your menu or any changes that you made. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment box below if you have any questions or feedback. Have a good time and goodbye.